And in this exercise, I'd like to take you through the steps of how we can lighten up an image. This one here, very nice image, but it, overall it's just quite dark. It's just an image. Now it's from the Pixabay Stock Studio and it's number 652234. Usually has an artist name on those things, but this one doesn't. It's just a number, but that's okay. What we want to do is is highlight some of the selected areas. Now this is the kind of image that you might have taken yourself when on holidays and you get home and you think oh well, it needs to be brightened up a little bit. There was some interesting artifacts there. There's like all those little windows on there, under there at river level. Very curious if that river ever flooded <laughs> I'm afraid those, those windows might actually go underwater. But there's some very nice roses along there and some roses along there. That river needs lightening up. So let's see how we do it. Now we'll go along to layers and we've got a layer there. Now what I want to do is add a curve to this. You do this with curves. There's no tricks. This is not something super special. So we go down the bottom here. You can see where the mouse pointer is. And we select curves. And it brings this up here. Now what I want to do is lighten up the whole image because we're going to select parts of that. So I just move that over there and you can see it's really brightening it up. Now I don't want it over bright, but bright enough because what we're looking at is the understory there. By that I mean that area there and the roses there and there. Not too much worried. Oh, there's some more roses there I just noticed. Okay, we might get to those, but the ones on the bridge, and those ones there, and those understory windows there. So now that we've got that, we've got that just about where I want it. I don't want it over bright, because that would be just silly. But that's not too bad. So we'll use that there, and now close that. We've got that in place. This is just what we want. Now you can see that there. Let's bring the curves adjustment up to the top so they can stack up on each other. Now that I've got that there, what I do is go to the keyboard and I'm on a Mac, so I'll use Command. And Command I puts, as you can see over there now, it inverts. That, cur that curves adjustment layer. Now I want to bring up the brightness. It's actually put that back to what the original image looked like before I brightened it. Let me show you this here. Let me take this off and back over. Let's turn off that layer. There we go. And you can see that there's no change there because the layer is exactly what it used to be in the original. Now that we've got that layer there, we can go over to the paintbrush tool. And I've got the pixel width to 77. Now I want to bring up the river. And I want that white. There we go. That's that's nice and white. Either one you can you can mess around with that for hours if you like. Now I'll bring that up because I want to brighten up the river, and I reckon about paintbrush. I reckon a pixel width of about three hundred will do that. Now you can see the white there. As I paint around that, you can see it's bringing up that understory area, which is just right. Just be careful if you make your brush too big. You'll end up painting over things you don't want to paint over. But if you do that, just a just a Command Z or Command Z, depending on what country you come from, uh, will undo that. Now I've still got 
a fairly small circle here and I'm just bringing the riverbed up you can see that bringing it back to a nice bright color which is what the adjustment layer did now you'll notice it's not painting in there really heavily that's because let me go back up here the opacity is 100% but the flow rate I've got it's about 29 and the hardness is zero let me go back there and you can see the size of the brush there I could probably bring that down a little bit and then if you want to do that then you use the left or right bracket keys there we go that's a bit smaller I want that a bit brighter down there because there's some nice greenery in there and you can see if I just go backwards and forwards across there now I'll be sure that I've got the entire riverbed riverbed and riverbank in there that's not doing too bad there we go nicely in there and a little bit there now that over on the left hand side is quite dark but we want to bring that out because I want to bring up the understory but I don't want to bring all those beams up you see because they're quite dark beams and that's nice there we go along there now if you've got an ordinary photo oh you think it's very ordinary it's a nice shot that you've taken on holidays but what you want to do is brighten it up a little bit to show some of the features that you are actually looking at now just let me save that I've got a Brighton tutorial I've already named it don't forget to save your work as you go that's very important now I don't want to work any more on that particular layer I can change the name of that to riverbed if I wanted to what I want to do is bring up the roses but I want to put that on a separate layer so I'm working on it separately so let's go back over to the adjustments layer and we'll put another curve layer and that you can see it's got that there now I'll bring that up again and I just want to get those roses nice and bright you can see the riverbed and everything's gone all funny there but the roses are really bright now the green part of the roses it's about where I had it with the first one but everything else is gone bright again so while I'm on there it's command I inverts it again now I've still got a white color there and I've got the paintbrush set quite high so let's bring that down a little bit there we go now if I just paint the roses and the greenery that goes with the roses the rose petals the rose leaves the bushes they're in hanging baskets I'd say from the looks of that and you can go around there oh there's a woman inside that room you can just see her there there we go lovely roses she's got in the hanging baskets there let's bring those out there aren't they lovely now that's very nice if you sit back and look at that image now and we've got some really nice roses there now you can see over there these ones now look quite dull by comparison the ones across the bridge so let's reduce the size of the brush right down and we'll just brighten up those roses across the bridge look at that isn't that nice wonderful that's all there is to it isn't that wonderful now the lamps are still quite dull well they're not too bad but it gives you the impression that if this is night time or late evening then those lamps would be on we could make those brighter if you wanted to there's all sorts of effects but if you're bringing up you can now see that understory you can now see the bright roses there 
Are they bright enough? I think they are. We could do the same with the flowers here and the roses on the balcony. Okay, that's nice and small. Let's see if we can bring up the roses on the balcony, on the window sills up there. I like their red roses in this place, don't they? Now, the, the, what I'm trying to impress upon you here is how nice you can make an otherwise fairly ordinary picture. It's not an ordinary place. It's quite an attractive place, actually. But with a little bit of judicious curve application, you can bring up the river, the roses, and any other features that you like. And, of course, you go up to File and Save, and there you have it. Now, if we were to select all those layers over there, all the adjustment layers, we can turn them off. And there's the original image. Quite, quite dark, quite dull. Not something that's really catching the eye. And the riverbed and the understory of the buildings is quite dark and hard to see. So there's what we've done. I've turned all the layers back on and it's brightened it up. It's off and it's on. Nothing else has changed. Now, I'm sure you've taken photographs of landscapes, of people, and things like that that you want to selectively highlight or brighten without getting into selections and things like that. Just apply a curves layer and then invert the mask and start painting. Remember, with the white in there, if that was black, it paints out. It does the opposite to it. So you want white. There you go. That's all there is to it.